my channel techblockowner.com and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can create youtube shorts ads to promote your youtube shorts on via google ads so without wasting your time as always i'm going to start this session now so what you have to do is you have to just create your google ads account if you have already created then you just need to click on create a new campaign and you will see the screen that i am showing in front of you since we have uh, the campaign objective is views now you can see like there are different goals we need to select to create the campaign sales leads website traffic brand awareness reach app promotion and local store visit but for youtube videos this is none of the objective for us as of now so what I'm going to do is create a campaign without a goal audience. Now once you select that option you will see select a campaign type. I can see a lot of options. Search, performance max, display, shopping, video. So this is the campaign that we want you to create reach viewers on YouTube and get conversions. So just click on it. Now you will see a lot of options like drive conversion it is totally dependent upon your campaign objective so my campaign objective to is to get so many views on my youtube shorts so i am go it is a by default option but if you want to change you can change accordingly based on your goal so let's go with video views and click on continue now this is default name you can change the name right now so I want you to change the name uh, for example CD is the cam uh, campaign name and all location because I'm go not going to target a particular country but I will guide you the steps that's all if you wanted to do any other nomenclature like language devices so for example I can add devices as well mobile that means i'm going to run only on mobile so this is my own for for my own understanding but you can do any other different nomenclature that you wanted to do for your own campaigns let's move forward so now the bid strategy by default is target cpv so target cpv means uh, cost per view so how much you are going to pay per view so budgets and rates you can set like at a campaign level or daily so i wanted to go with daily spend so i wanted to spend for example five dollars per day you can set up to your own uh, budget but this is the basic that i wanted to start with and you can set the start and end date for each campaign now this is an important thing network so by default all the ads uh, for the videos will be going to show on youtube but there are some video partners on google display network which is also going to display your ads but i don't recommend this as an option to promote your ads because sometimes there are mobile apps and uh, some affiliate networks who try to manipulate the data so it doesn't a recommended option from my side so i'm going to uncheck this okay now you can see the countries by default it is all countries and territories but i wanted to specifically target my ads to for example india for now you can add and ex uh, exclude other countries as well for excluding countries you can add their names enter a location to target or exclude so you can add there there is an advanced search option as well you can add locations in bulk like um, you don't need to target location by entering manually so you can add, click on this option and you will you can copy paste all based on the pin code cities and countries in one go and if you want to target a particular radius then you can enter the location and then you can target that 
based on the uh, radius and longitude and kilometers so just wanted to bring this to your attention but i am not going to use this option for now just for the sake of the video so by default these are the options have been selected based on the country so i'm going to select all these options uh, but if you want to remove you can click on these cross icons and remove the languages now you can add the related videos like related videos appear below your video add and offer immersive video experience just this is just for the experience for example you are seeing a video ad and suddenly you will see related ads from that channel of that video so this is just for the engagement part okay so i can i wanted to add here but uh, considering the length of this video i don't want to go with this option but you can add uh, videos for uh, related to your ad campaign so multi format ads is a new feature that has been launched by google so it is just to get more views with multi format video ads they are also claiming like get up to 40 percent more views by google to find the right mix of ad that means they are going to show their your ad in different formats across their platforms like youtube has also different inventory somewhere it will be rectangular somewhere it will be vertical and square ad format so that's why google is uh, taking permission if you want to, to only show in a particular format then you can uncheck this option but i'm going to suggest you to go with this option so that you have more views now i only wanted to show my ads not on all devices since this is a short video ads that i'm going to run right now so it makes sense to add these uh, uh, it makes sense to run these ads only on mobile so i'm going to uncheck the unrelevant platforms so the i'm going to run only on mobile phones you can even select the operating system like windows mac device model or networks so you can drill down as per your understanding or requirements so frequency capping is very important option that means cap impression frequency it tells you how many times the ads in this campaign can show to same user i wanted to show my ads impression only one time per user per day so i am going to add one as a number here in the impression cap and you can see on the right side as soon as i entered one here the numbers have been updated here in the right side so you can send the set the frequency per week per day per month so i am going to set per day and even you can add cap view frequency that means how many times a single user can interact or see view your ads so let's enter one here as well because i wanted to have unique views so add view cap sorry yeah so this is the setting very important and we have already covered this now let's go to add schedule if you wanted to add uh, run your ads on a specific day like only on monday to friday saturday sundays then you can select the option as per your own requirements so i'm going to uh, use this option all days because my campaign objective is to get more views doesn't matter when and whether i'm getting on sunday saturday or monday okay and uh, then you can leave this option as it is this is for third third party measurement so this is not of that much use as of now since you are new here to just to understand the campaign now this is the ad group name so you can add the name of the group as per your own nomenclature so i'm going to add this as uh, shorts ads one okay so this is for more my own understanding and then i'm going to uncheck the unknown demographics because these are the unknown uh, demographics for google's inventory so sometimes they are bought 
and sometimes spam websites alert uh, users so i wanted to remove those as unknown from this segment so let's keep it this way and if you know your audience like you are targeting senior citizens or uh, mid age mid age citizens somewhere around 25 to 35 then you can select only those options so i'm going to uh, select all the options by default but just only to remove the unknown one and uh, any specific audience segments so my ad is related to uh, about canada and uh, like i am helping with my video ads to ha- help the newcomers who are coming from different countries to canada so i am going to enter canada let me see trips to canada as a vicinity okay so now you can see you you can see the impressions have been updated but there are a lot of options like you, you can target based on the affinity audience in market audience who are interacted with your business lot of options are there so you can do that as well okay you can target by books uh, what kind of entertainment news they they see so lot of options are there to target i am going to u- use this audience reach expansion so that uh sometimes you are not able to target the right people with the help of this segmentation but based on youtube algorithm they will be expanding your ads to the uh, relevant audience based on the actions from other people on your ad any specific keyword that people are searching on you can add here and uh, any topic for example it if it is related to boats bicycles you can add here whatever is your uh, campaign or business objective and then you can target uh, specific to channel level for example i have one or two competitors i want to to target on so you can enter the on their names and uh, you can select those specific videos as well on which you want to show your ads so this is very good option but i wanted to just uh, keep it as it is just to show you the steps only okay now the main part is coming what is your youtube ad so i'm going to copy one of the youtube ads so let's see let me copy this one and put it here now the preview is coming here you can see the preview is here and uh, you can search for video ad directly from here if your channel is connected directly with your google ads account if not then you can enter uh, any other final url on which people are clicking and getting uh, landing on your website so right now i don't have a website so i'm going to add this youtube shorts uh, url now you need to enter the long headline how to apply health card in canada i'm going to copy this same description description is going to show here you can see here. in this preview okay and this is for tracking purpose and like utm tracking if you are using if not then keep it as as blank if you have specific thumbnail you can upload that thumbnail but i am going to use default thumbnail uh, which is recommended option you can specifically t- type the name of your ad just to have the differentiation if you have multiple ads in a particular ad group so i am going to add this ad name as health card short okay this is for my own understanding now ad creation is done you can create multiple ads by clicking on new video ads this is a responsive ad 
now this is a also a very important part how much you are going to pay uh, for each view with targeted cpv you set an average amount you are willing to pay for, per view for this campaign so i am going to start with 0 0.1 cent sorry this is 10 cent yeah this is 1 cent so google is recommending me 2 cents so let's start with 2 cents and now you can see like in 2 cents under 5 dollar how much views i'm going to get how many impressions i'm going to get so this is my views range like this is the maximum google has asked me but it is not going to exceed 2 cent per view that is for sure so you don't need to worry on that part since you have spent uh, set the daily limit for five dollar and two cent so based on that conditions google has given us some kind of tentative numbers here so just to give us like what is the uh, roi we can expect uh, in terms of uh, running the ads now everything is set or good then you are good to go ahead with creating a campaign button congratulations your campaign is ready so that's all about this video guys and uh, i'm going to share the results in in some of the next videos but stay tuned with me in the next videos about uh, how to create audience in google ads and how to set up conversions lot of videos are going to come don't forget to subscribe my channel see you in the next video take care bye bye